in the book of Galatians, Paul gives us nine words that are fruits of the Spirit. So over these nine videos, we're going to look at each of these words and see how we can live them out in our marriages. You know, going to the online dictionary worked really well for me when I gained a deeper understanding of kindness. So I thought I would go there again today as we look at the next fruit of the Spirit, goodness. The definition begins with this, the quality of being good, which is really not much help. Then I see these words, virtue and moral excellence. Now we have something to take into our marriages. This is what I want Nancy to see in me. I want her to see a man completely committed to truth and honesty, and that I would never knowingly compromise the morals that God has set before me. That's more than being faithful to her. It is how I handle everything, every day, of my life. Now that's a really high standard and I've not always lived up to it, but that doesn't mean I get to lower the standard. And so the standard needs to remain high and with God's help, I need to aim for that standard every single day. To keep that standard, there are things that I had to let go of and things that I need to avoid. It's choosing to be a good person. For me, it is following the model that Jesus gave us. In this life, will I ever be completely like Jesus? No, but that's the direction I want to go. And every day that I stay on that path, my life and Nancy's life and our marriage are all better. Today's one thing, find one thing that fits the fruit goodness and bring it into your life and into your marriage today.